Hi everyone, welcome to Integral Calculus. Today we explore lesson 8.2 and 10.2. Computing surface area. Example one, compute the area of the surface generated by rotating the curve y equal to root x about the x-axis from x equal one to x equal three. Well, I have a picture right here. First thing is that the area of the surface is the same as the sum of a bunch of uh, area first term. So we would take a look at the sample first term. And this could be the radius. And that is exactly why we're going to sum these area of radius y from x equal 1 to x equal 3. The surface area is integral 1 to 3. 2 pi radius is y multiply to uh, the oct length and the square root of f prime x square plus 1 dx. Okay, now we can do the substitution. 2 pi y is 2 root x. The derivative of two root x is the two times one over two root x square plus one dx. We can pull out the four pi integral from one to three root x, and this one is root of one over x plus one. The x uh, multiply the two root together. Then we have four pi integral from one to three root of one plus x dx. And now we can use the u sub. u go one plus x. So du is dx. Then from here, we say that the upper limit is one plus three is four. The lower limit is one plus one is two. So this would be a four pi integral from two to four root of u du, which is four pi time two over three, u three over two, evaluate from two to four. And this would be a pi over three. Four, three over two is a, two, to the power of three over two is two root two. Factor the two, and we would have a 16 pi over three, four minus root two. Yay. Let's move on to the second one. Exercise two, compute the area of the surface generated by rotating the curve y equal x square about the y axis from y equal one to y equal four. If we sketch our sample first term, we will see that the radius is the x. And we're gonna sum these area from y equal one to y equal four. The surface area is integral from one to four. Two pi x multiplied to the arc length, root of uh, g prime y square plus one dy. G prime y, we can simply saw for x 
So we know x is going to be plus or minus root y. However, the value of x is positive, so it can be root y. And it is g of y. Yay. Integral 1 to 4. 2 pi have square root y. Multiply to g prime y is 1 over 2 root y square plus 1 dy. One to four, two pi, multiply the two square root together. We have a one four plus y. Well, we can factor out one fourth. Root of one fourth. So we have one plus four y dy. And then root of one fourth, one two. So half and the two are going to cancel each other out. Give us pi. One to four root of four y plus one dy. And then from here, well, you set is pretty clear. You go four y plus one du is four dy. The upper limit is four square plus one, so seventeen. Lower limit is four to one plus one, that's five. Pi integral from five to seventeen. DY is one fourth DU, so one fourth of root U, DU. Okay. And we know the anti derivative of root U. There's going to be a pi over four multiply to two of three. U three of two. Evaluate this one from five to seventeen. Pi of six. Seventeen three of two minus five to the power three of two. And it is it. Okay, one more example. Example three, compute the surface area of a ball of fur by rotating a part of the circle of radius three as in the picture below. A circle of radius three x squared plus y squared equal three square. We can solve for y, but then we're gonna get into the square root. And if we get into the square root, we're gonna use trick substitution. It can be a little complicated. So one of the better way to approach this problem is parameterize the circle. <laughs> On a parameterized circle. X equal to huh? three cosine t, y equal three side t. And then notice that at t equals zero. We get the point x, y to be three, zero. At t equal pi of three, 
we get a point x y to be three over two three root three over two this tell us that uh, when we parameterize the circle the parameter go from zero to pi over three and this angle right here is that uh pi over three of course the horizontal line on the x-axis that is the angle of zero yeah pretty cool huh okay so once we parameterize the circle then we're going to use the uh, the parameterized formula to compute the surface area s is equal to integral from zero to pi over three two pi and if you can look at the radius of a sample first two then the radius is y so 2 pi y root of dx over dt square plus dy over dt square dt okay zero to pi over three two pi y is three side t root of uh, the root of respect to x minus three psi t derivative with respect to y three cosi t simplify this and we have a sit pi psi t root of nine multiplied to psi square t plus cosi square t dt well size square plus cos size square one is root nice three three times it is 18 integral zero to pi over three 18 pi side t dt eighteen pi in the rope size negative cosine of negative cosine t evaluate from zero to pi of three. And so we have eighteen pi multiply to negative cosine pi of three is one over two minus cosine of zero is one, but it's a negative. Yeah. So we have negative one. Ah, and add them up, then we have 18 pi multiplied to half is 9 pi. Thank you for watching. I hope you find the content useful. Please like, subscribe to help the channel grow. I will see you in the next video.